Hi, everybody. I wanted to jump on here and just talk about what's happening in the new year. You know, I've got so many clients that are sharing with me now that the new decade is upon us and they feel completely overwhelmed and they're feeling this stress, which is leading to the feeling of overwhelm, which is leading to sometimes anxiety. And we see that at an all time high now. And you may or may not know that up to 90%, 90% of primary care doctor visits are stress related, yet only 3% of people actually get relief from stress. Typically, for example, if you're in a chronic stress state and it leads to maybe some stomach disorders, or irritable bowel syndrome, or chronic headaches, or brain fog, hypertension, racing heart rate, these are all signs of stress. And typically when you go to the doctor, they'll wanna prescribe medication. Only 3% of people really get help from dealing with stress. And it seems like stress is at an all time high. I hear it from so many people. There's so many studies coming out talking about stress and the negative effects of it. And so I wanted to share some of the traditional methods of stress and talk about why they don't work. And I also wanted to share, I was at the grocery store at the checkout line and this magazine was at the checkout line. It's Time Magazine, the special Time Edition, the science of stress. Manage it, avoid it, put it to use. And I thought, oh, fantastic, I'm gonna read this. And as I started reading it, I was really disappointed. And I'll tell you why. Because it's saying things that all the experts are saying about the traditional ways of dealing with stress. And I want to share with you what some of them are. So number one, get a four legged relief, source of relief. Yes, our four legged friends are special and we have a lot of love for them and they bring us a lot of joy. But stay with me, you'll get where I'm going. So the next one that I saw on here was the Sabbath antidote. Take a Sabbath from work. Go be somewhere. Yes, that can definitely help when you take some time off work. And here's another one. Creative solutions. Go do some art. Get creative. Yes, that can work. It can be a, a source of stress relief. But here's my challenge with it. Everything that's listed in here and what the experts are telling us, they're all outside of us, meaning we have to go somewhere, we have to get a puppy or a kitty, or we have to go do art. Well, what happens when you're in a meeting and somebody says something and it makes you angry and you feel that heart rate go up and it starts to race and your heart beats fast? And you think, oh my God, I want to say something so bad, but you're biting your tongue and inside your insides are just churning because you're so angry. People need help reducing stress in the moment. That's why these traditional ways of dealing with stress don't always work. They're a temporary relief. They don't get to the source of the problem. Now, part of the source of the problem is dealing with your own physiology. And so when we don't deal with our physiology and our heart rate is just beating really, really fast, here's what happens. The higher thinking centers of our brain shut down. There's a whole bunch of science behind it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to do a series of why this happens and the science behind it. Now, we've all experienced the feelings of stress or overwhelm or time crunch. If we don't stop those negative reactions of stress, 
If we don't stop that heart rate from racing, it's gonna go on for hours, it's gonna deplete us. Have you ever noticed that if you have a super stressful day and you get home in the evening and you're just exhausted, you're like, I gotta go to bed. But you go to bed and you lie there and you can't go to sleep because the mind's going like this. Well, your body is still in the state of fight or flight. And so I'm gonna be doing a series of five different steps of how to work with your physiology and how to reduce stress in the moment. So if you are one of those leaders out there that are dealing with stress, which may result in overwhelm, which may result in anxiety, which may lead to all these physical symptoms that unfortunately could lead to a chronic disease state. And I say that because the CDC just came out with an announcement. It was actually late last year in 2019. And they said 50% of Americans, one in two Americans has a chronic disease. And the definition of a chronic disease is an ailment that is there for three months or longer. So if you had headaches for three months or longer, if you've had upset stomach for three months or longer, if you've had irritability or hypertension or racing heart rate for three months or longer, the good news is it could be stress related and you can learn to turn off the negative, negative effects of stress in the moment. So if you're interested and you wanna show up, just put a comment below and say, yeah, I am really interested in the series. And I'm going to be posting throughout the next couple of weeks on the series. Now, if you're one of those managers that are saying, I do not want to wait for the series to come out, and you would like some tips on how to reduce your stress in the moment, then I'm going to put a link here to my calendar. You're welcome to go book a call with me. And what we'll do is we'll get on, we'll, we'll come up with a strategy on how to overcome stress in the moment. Once you book a call, it's going to take you to a form and that form you're going to fill out. It's going to tell me a lot about you, about your levels of stress, what maybe chronic disease states are starting to come up, what you're feeling. And when you do that, it gives me a better picture and a better understanding of who you are and what you're dealing with so I can better craft a solution for you. So if you want to jump on a call, it's absolutely free. There's no cost to it. It's a breakthrough call. If you'd like to jump on, just click the link that's attached to this video. I'm gonna put it right above this video. Click the link and we'll set up some time. I look forward to talking with you and seeing you in the series coming up. Thanks a lot and again, happy 2020.